Hello, this is Ian and Ben with DC Digital, and today we're going to be showcasing our DC 25C2 EFF RP counter network timer. This order is going out to PSG Dover, and what the customer aims to accomplish by utilizing this product is to keep track of the efficiency rate of their products and services via a network time. So what they're going to do is they want to discover the efficiency rate regarding the planned amount and compare and contrast that with the actual amount and that will produce the efficiency rating that they're looking for and it's going to be on a network web page that is completely free and it does not require any third-party installations or external software. So now I'm going to go over the external functions on how this unit is meant to work. So we have our push button switches right here for the plan section. We have our increments and we have our decrement button right here. And we also have a zero reset button right here to reset everything back to zero. So first things first, we're going to set the planned amount for the unit. So first things first, we press the increment button to continuously add or we can press and hold the increment button and watch it count by ones and then as you can see it will count by one hundredth of a second and I'll count up by a thousand of a second and once I let go we have our set number we can decrement the amount so we can subtract one digit by pressing the button right here decrement and if I want to reset it back to zero I just press and hold this for about three seconds and as you can see it reset it back to zero so for this demonstration we're going to say we want to have let's say 150 so there we go we have 150 and and this unit has an up timer that you use by pressing the start and stop button on the on the right side of the enclosure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the start and stop button and as you can see the little dot on the top left side of the enclosure is flashing, so that means that the up timer is currently in progress. So now we're going to press the big black button that increments the actual section of the enclosure. So we do that by pressing it one time. And as you can see, the actual section is incrementing, as well as the efficiency rating at the bottom because it's comparing the planned amount. It's comparing the actual and planned amount. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pressing it little by little, one at a time, once every second or so. So now I'm going to have Ben talk about the network function and how that correlates with the enclosure and how the people are going to utilize the functions of this counter. Okay, thank you, Ian. So what Ian showed you for the most part has been our standard product up to this point and PSG Dover came to us and they wanted us to customize this to their specific needs, which was adding the timer function. So while their parts uh, don't take part, part of a second to increment, they, they might increment more in terms of minutes and seconds per part, then what they want to be able to do is first see that in real time over here, anywhere accessible on their network, and that's what this web page is for. And then they want to be able to download a spreadsheet of all of the counts and the times that they took individually. Okay, once they've done that, they get a record of every single button press and also downtime. So when we started it and we were setting up the 150 planned pieces, uh, that is their first record and that was all downtime. And then we started the timer and the first part took 24 seconds to produce. The next part took one second to produce and then zero, and then one, and then one, and then one two, and then Ian slowed down, and here we got four and five seconds to produce each part. But realistically, this list would have minutes and seconds per part and would allow them to break down and assess how each part is made on their, according to their process time. So quickly going over the hardware aspect of this model, it's an aluminum black powder coating that is fingerprint and dust resistant. Its dimensions are 16 inches wide. 15.75 inches tall and two inches deep approximately. Its display size for each section is 2.3 inches that could be viewed up to a total of 120 feet away. The number of digits for the planned and actual sections are four digits and they can both display 9,999. Meanwhile, the efficiency section has three digits and it can display only a total of 200. Its power type is a 120 to 240 VAC 
three prong wall adapter with a six feet power cord. For mounting, we have two adjustable teardrop mounting tabs on the back of the enclosure. And lastly, for accessories, we have our wired four millimeter palm switch for the actual count. We have a wired environmentally sealed push button for setting the plan count. Each of them comes with 25 feet of cabling. And lastly, we also have our network webpage log for viewing, configuring, and logging the uptimer for, for each time the actual button has been pressed. So again, this is Ian and Ben with DC Digital demonstrating our DC25C 2EFF RP network log uptimer. Thanks for watching.